I'm going to talk about the total fertility rate, I'm going to give a definition of what it means and how to interpret it, and then offer a simple exercise uh, showing how we can calculate the total fertility rate using data from the American Community Survey, and it's easier than you think. The total fertility rate is the most important common measure of fertility that we have. Uh, it is an estimate of the average number of births per woman over her lifetime. The reason it's so useful and important is because it allows us to uh, uh, project into the future and see what's happening with the population as far as growth or decline. If the average woman is having about 2.1 children or more over the course of her lifetime, then uh, that's one for her and one for her hypothetical partner, and each generation will be replacing itself. The point one is for people who end up not reproducing for one reason or another. On the other hand, if the average woman has uh, less than about 2.1 children uh, over the course of her lifetime, then eventually the population will start to decline if you don't have uh, an increase in fertility or immigration or something else. Uh, happening. Uh, like other demographic measures, uh, this is not actually a prediction of the future, it's a projection of current birth rates into the future that says what would happen if uh, fertility rates that we see today uh, for each age, age-specific uh, fertility rates, uh, were to repeat themselves uh, sort of over and over again if this year happened over and over again. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control collects uh, birth rate data from uh, states, from birth certificates, and their most recent estimate of the total fertility rate for the year 2013 is 1.86. You can see the U.S. is below that 2.1 cutoff uh, at the moment, so if nothing changes, eventually the population would start to decline, uh, presuming we had no immigration. Uh, to put that in perspective over time, this is from the Population Reference Bureau. Uh, the last century shows a big uh, spike we're all familiar with in the baby boom after World War II and then the drop in fertility after that. And another drop during the Great Recession that we're just possibly beginning to uh, come out of, uh, which put us back below two births per woman on the total fertility rate. To compare this to other countries, this is from the CIA World Factbook. You can see the wide range from very low fertility countries like Japan, Italy, and Germany, down around 1.4 births per woman, all the way up to the high fertility countries like Nigeria and Ethiopia, up over 5 births per woman. The U.S. Uh, by this measure is at 2.0, a little bit higher than the CDC estimate, uh, but that difference is not important. This is just, just for the scale. So to see how this works, I'm going to uh, show you how you can do this yourself. I'll hop over to the Minnesota Population Center, ipums.org, uh, where they maintain an archive of uh, data from around the world. We're interested in the American Community Survey, which is the largest annual survey collected by the Census Bureau. Uh, and uh, that several million people will give us plenty to estimate the total fertility rate uh, for one year. For this exercise, we're going to use the online analysis tool, uh, which will enable us to get the simple answer that we need. This is the list of data sets, and the most recent one is the 2013 American Community Survey. Very conveniently uh, for us, the same year as the most recent CDC estimate. Now, if you haven't been here before, uh, you will be asked to create an account, which is free and very quick. Uh, it's not asking me that because I'm already logged in. Uh, here's the table building tool. You can see the variables uh, faceted on the left and the, uh, tool, the table shell tool on the right. We're only going to need a few variables from the demographic variable group. We need age, and we'll make that our row variable so we can uh, get a birth rate for women of every age. Uh, the uh, children born within the last year variable, uh, very uh, useful piece of information essential for calculating a total fertility rate. That'll be our column variable. So we can see the percentage having a baby at each age. And then we're going to need to uh, select uh, our population here. We want just 15 to 49 year olds and we want just women. So sex equals 2 and age is 15 to 49. The childbearing years uh, is typically used. Um, I'm going to leave the weight the same uh, so you don't need to touch that. That just makes our uh, analysis representative. For this we're going to want the row percent not the column percent. Uh, that'll be the percentage having a baby in each year. We don't need to display the number of cases and we don't need the color coding for this. I'm also going to leave the chart options alone. We're not going to be using the chart for this but you're uh, you might like to play around with that. I'm going to ask for three decimal places uh, for our estimates just to give us the precision we need 
to do this calculation. And that's really all we need to do to estimate uh, the total fertility rate to get the data we need. Uh, a second or two later, uh, it, they have uh, produced this uh, table for us from the millions of records in the American Community Survey. The top of the output shows us the options we selected. We can make sure those are correct. And then as you go down, you can see uh, the percentage of women ages 15 to 49 that had a baby in each uh, age for the year 2013. So for example, 15-year-olds, 99.5% did not have a baby, and 0.5% did have a baby in the year 2013. Uh, the age at which uh, women are most likely to have a child is uh, age 29, when 11.2% uh, uh, had a baby, uh, and uh, uh, the decline after that. So to calculate our total fertility rate, I'm going to grab these figures and carry them over into Excel, where we can do some calculations. And I've set up a table shelf for us here. Try that again. There we go. I'm going to delete the comms we don't need and leave just the percent having a baby at each age. Now this is the uh, percentage having a baby to get the age specific fertility. Uh, the number of children born to the average woman in that age, we're going to divide each of these numbers by a hundred. Uh, that will tell us the average number of children born for every 15 year old in this case. I'm going to copy that formula all the way down to age 49. And then just to give us a visual, I'll create a quick graph of this to show the pattern. There's our age-specific fertility trend in the United States for the year 2013. Uh, you see the peak there in the late 20s or early 30s. And this curve is not perfectly smooth. This is a sample, um, so there's a little bit of uh, variation. Uh, and the uh, births trickle off uh, into the uh, uh, late 40s there. Um, uh, to create the total fertility rate, what we're going to need is the cumulative um, a function of this same distribution. So I'm going to use some key commands here just to do it more quickly. I'll put the value in the first row and then for each subsequent row we're going to add the uh, number of births to the sum from the previous row and this will be a cumulative function down to age 49. Uh, I can represent this for you visually by adding uh, that column, I'll just change this from D to E to grab that last column. And uh, now the scale is off, but if I quickly s put it on the secondary axis, now we have them uh, on separate axes and you can see uh, the pattern. The blue line again is the age-specific fertility. The orange line is the uh, total cumulative fertility. And when you get out to the very end here, age 49, that's going to be our total fertility rate, the average number of children that a woman will have if 2013 happened over and over again. And that number is 1.86583, very close to what we got from the Centers for Disease Control. Just so, you, in case you want to save this, I'll quickly give it a title. This is U.S. women's fertility, ages 15 to 49 for the year 2013. And if I give it a legend, then you'll know which one is which. So that's an easy example showing you both uh, how to uh, use and interpret the total fertility rate and how to make it yourself using data from the American Community Survey access from uh, ipums.org. Uh, just for reference, I've given you a couple of uh, links here, a nice uh, article on fertility terms and definitions from uh, the Pew Research Center. Uh, and then if you want to see what I've done lately on the blog, you can check uh, the fertility tag.